and today i'll be showing you guys how to make liquid soap using just three ingredients yes i said three ingredients and this, those ingredients are salt sls and dexapon you're going to make a very good and foamy liquid soap with just these three ingredients now the purpose of this video is for those that are actually doing liquid soap for business right now the economy is very very bad things are actually very expensive in the market just if you want to make a little quantity of liquid soap right now for sale you will end up spending a lot of money and making very little profit because of the cost of chemicals so in this video i'll be showing you how to use just three ingredients in making liquid soap for business so that you can actually make profits when you sell it and those ingredients like you've seen there is the salt the texapon and sls so what all you just do is to watch this video and see how i made this it's actually very simple it's not hard it's not difficult it's not really difficult it's very simple so follow the whole step everything i did here follow now i have actually dissolved my salt in this water i'm making i want to produce five liters of liquid soap this production is for five liters if you want to make up to 20 liters all you have to do is to increase the measurement by four increase the measurement four times if i use something like um, 250 grams of texapon for five liters you should know very well that 1000 grams will give you 20 liters which is equal to one kg will give you 20 will give you 20 liters of liquid soap if you follow this method so you can actually increase the ingredients by four that is four times of the quantity i gave here if you want to produce for 20 liters if you want to produce for 10 liters you increase the ingredient two times if you want to produce for 10 liters so it's as simple as that so this video i'll be producing for just five liters so i have actually dissolved my salt in the main mixing um, bowl now right now i'm dissolving my sls this sls actually takes a longer time to dissolve but if you have a stick blender if you if you have a stick blender it will dissolve under one minute if you put a stick blender inside this mixture and stir it with a stick blender this mixture will dissolve quickly but right now um my and there is no um, electrical power supply right now for me to use the stick blender so i'm actually using my spoon to mix this sls so it might take up to 20 minutes for it to properly dissolve so i'll be patient enough and i will keep mixing So after 20 minutes, my SLS has dissolved. It has dissolved. So I kept, I stirred it. I waited for some while, then continue stirring again. I'm going to pour it into the mixture that has my salt. This has my salt already. I'm going to pour my SLS into the salt, into the water that I use in dissolving my salt. So I poured in the SLS. I'm going to stir it. If you have a stick blender, you can actually use a stick blender to stir this to mix faster. I mean, I mean this main mixture in this bucket. You can use a stick blender instead of using a spoon. It will be faster. The, the production will be faster. So next i'll be dissolving my texapon that's my texapon i'll put it into my mixture and i'll also stir it and this is the last major ingredient i'm using now the we have, i have dissolved the sls dissolved the salt now this is the texapon i'm dissolving last
So I'm going to keep this for 24 hours. After 24 hours, the whole um, chemicals might have mixed very well. So I'll keep this for 24 hours. Okay, so this is the following day. I kept this overnight. Now this is the following day in the afternoon. And this is how my liquid soap looks like. It's actually transparent. So if you want to make a transparent liquid soap, you can also use this method. This method is used for making a transparent liquid soap. You can see it's transparent. I can see through the liquid soap. So you can use this method in making what? A transparent liquid soap also. But in this our production, I'll be adding color. So once I add color, the, the liquid soap won't be as transparent as before again. So I'm going to add color. You can choose to add color. You can choose not to add color. If your customers need a transparent liquid soap, you can sell this to, to like this to them. But if they need color, you add your color. But in this one, I'm going to add color. And you can add any color of your choice. You can add the green, pink, yellow, orange, any color of your choice. So the next thing I'll be adding is my fragrance. And I've noticed that whenever I add fragrance to this mixture, it becomes a bit cloudy. But later on, it's going to pick its trans translucency again, to be translucent later. But right now, when I mix this, it will look cloudy because of the fragrance I added. Then if I keep it for some while, it will the cloudy um, look will disappear and it will not look translucent again. So you can see what is happening there. It's no longer having that translucent appearance. It's not looking a bit cloudy because I added my fragrance. This fragrance I'm adding is a mixture of lemon and lavender. Wow, it's a very sweet, it has a very sweet um, smell. The lavender and lemon. Once you mix these two fragrances together, I promise you, you're going to like the liquid soap. It's going to smell like Fanta. Don't keep it close to your child though. So if you want your liquid soap to have a sweet fragrance, always use lemon and lavender. Mix them together. Now I'm going to test this my liquid soap to see how it foams. Because people out there are trying looking for, they, people out there need a liquid soap that foams very well. You see, if you are making tablet soap, let it foam. If you are making liquid soap, it should foam because once your tablet soap is not foaming, your liquid soap is not foaming, your customers will complain. So in order to avoid that, make sure it's foaming. So you're going to see how this our liquid soap is going to foam after this production. See how it foams. Very it, it leathers very well. Very little quantity I use, but see how it leathers. So you can see this production is actually very good. Just the salt, SLS, and the Texapon. You will, and the Texapon is not expensive, salt is not expensive, SLS is not expensive. So you can see I've actually achieved 5 liters of liquid soap. I have not even spent up to 1000 Naira. I didn't spend up to 1000 Naira. My Texapon was. 400 naira. My SLS was 300 naira. My salt, I got it for 70 naira. So you can see this is not even up to 1,000 naira production. So you can see you actually save a lot of money when you use this method. So thank you for watching this video and see you next time on our next video. And don't forget, next uh, on the 27th of December is my birthday. I will be doing a live video. You people should show me joy that day. Live video, 27th of December. Bring your questions on soap making, on skincare. Bring all your questions. I will be doing a live video. It will be very interactive. Show me joy. I will display my account, my account here on the screen. Goodbye and see you then. Goodbye.